Hey guys, this is Frank. I wanted to give you an update on this uh, this oil burner. <clears throat> the last one I called nuclear used oil burner, but just to show you, we actually started using it because um, it's gotten cold here in, in Knoxville. And so we cranked it up. They had it on all day yesterday. Today is Saturday. I, I'm not here usually very often, but uh, when it came in today, he told me, oh, that thing's awesome, man. No problems whatsoever. And it pretty much takes care of heat in the shop unless it gets real cold so i don't know so i would say the the oil consumption is probably 10 gallons a day of used oil maybe um but i'm going to show you the size of the shop back up here kind of show you the size of the shop it's a 8,000 square foot building it's got no insulation in it and uh i usually have three of these cranking but this is the latest one that I made. And I made it so the door could stay open and not even exhaust any fumes. And so look how clear it is in here. This is just incredible, man. This thing puts out no smoke. You can actually see the burner burning. There's there's my big one over there. That one's like a, made out of a big oil tank. It's kind of the same setup. It's just massive. Uh, same principle. And I'll go back to the principle here in a minute of how these are designed. And then uh, here's my other one right here that he said, you can almost take that out. We're not even probably gonna use that now. So, so that's, that's the third one. And then I actually had four in here at one time, <clears throat> but I'm taking the fourth one that we took out. I'm taking it home and redoing it, trying to make it like this one here. So fundamentally, it's a drip oil furnace. And what makes this work so well is um, the combustion air and the burn bowl and the burn plate. Um, this is kind of things that I've worked through so far in design. And, and honestly, I got the burn baffle idea from another YouTuber and I've kind of just turned it into something a little bit better. I don't see any designs out there quite like mine that work as well. Um, so this actually was a hot water heater, hot water heater tank that I cut up and that where the burn bowl is sitting on top of is actually the pipe that goes through the hot water heater. So I just cut that off, use it as a uh, stool, and then I capped the top and then I actually, well, I, ca I capped it. Well, no, I cut it out. I cut it out, took the pipe out because I had to put a six inch um, exhaust fume flue on there. And so... I took out the top pipe, the rest of the pipe, and cut in a six inch uh, exhaust flue. And um, yeah. So, um, and then it goes up to a riser up to um, outside. And I'll show you actually, because I, I got a window right here. You can, you can look right out the window and see the exhaust pipe. Let me see if I can get a better shot. So right there's the exhaust pipe. See the black thing in the window? And if you notice, there's no black smoke whatsoever coming out. This thing burns 100% clean. It does uh, produce a little bit of residual uh, waste in the burn bowl, and I'll show you that right here, which is right there. So at the end of the day, you just take the burn bowl out, turn it over, slap it on the concrete, and then the debris falls out, and then you're ready to go again. <clears throat> and to light this, usually I just... Uh, I, I personally just put a little gasoline in, in the first part of, you know, the first light. And then I, I put some oil to it and um, I turn the, the fan off temporarily while the oil, the gas is heating up the oil. And in a matter of like 10 seconds, honestly, you can probably turn the, the blast air back on. All right, so here's, here's the principle of this. There's a, uh, uh, a tank for the oil and then there's a drip tube and you can see kind of how much is dripping in there right now. Um, it drips into this tube right here and goes down into the chamber, which goes down into the tank and then to a plate, which has got a little bit of a 90 on it at the end of that. And then there's a burn plate, like about four inches round with uh, like a two inch gap. And that burn plate is actually what's inside the burn bowl uh, so you kind of put the burn bowl up around the burn plate which is ends up being down in the burn bowl about an inch and that gives you your turbo effect 
which gives you you can't see the the flames the way I've designed it, but you can you can kind of go from there and figure out what I'm talking about there. <clears throat> so let's see here. Okay, then we have combustion air, which in this case is full on, which goes up to distribution pipe, which goes outside, down and over. And then it goes to a combustion fan, which pulls in outside air. Now, the reason why I'm pulling outside air, all this outside air actually goes up the chimney. Uh, and so instead of sucking in air from the building and trying to reheat it, I'm just bringing in outside air and it basically blasts up the, the chimney. And so I'm not reheating air inside the building. So it's pretty efficient as far as that goes. Um, and it's just a, this is actually a, fan off and I've used numerous amounts of different fans that I'll kind of show you but you can kind of adapt them um, to do this so this I forget what this is off of but it looks like that's kind of off of, well most of these I get are actually off the hot water heater that I buy the hot water heater is a forced air heater and so on top of the hot water heater there's actually a fan and that same fan and you can get these hot water tanks for I mean I'm buying them from off the guy for like $35 so not only do I get the tank, but I get the the uh, the fan as well. And so, one you know, one deal, one time shopping, right? And so, here's kind of what some of the fans look like. And this is actually off a hot water heater, so you can make that work. And this one's actually off of a, a gas gas uh, HVAC unit. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can use uh, in terms of the fan, but the the key is. It, what I find to be completely um, efficient is you bring in the outside air. Now you don't have to. You can you can probably still do it without, and you can eliminate, you know, this piping. Here's another one where I piped it in. And you can eliminate this piping where it comes down and goes into my goes into my my uh, burn tube. So I mean, you can you can eliminate that, but if you want, you know, complete efficiency then you would uh, bring in outside air. So um, this this uh, this tank, this whole tank thing, I don't know, it takes me probably, by the time I get it all said and done, probably if I worked on it nonstop, about four hours to knock out, four or five hours. Um, so yeah, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to um, ask and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, oh, and also I forgot to tell you there's a there's a drip tube. There's a drip pipe right here So this is actually also an oil water separator. So you can use this to separate See oil is coming out now, so it's already separated But you can use that actually as your oil water separator like if you get water in your oil Obviously the oil goes up and the water comes down and so you just drain that out drain your water out And then you got fresh oil so you use it kind of as an oil separator oil water separator as well, so Anyways, um, if you like it, um, hit like, and if you want to subscribe, I'm always kind of throwing out different stuff, so you'll get my next listing if you want. All right, well, you guys take care. Hope that helped. Bye now.